Hello everybody and welcome back to my Magic Duel of Champions. Well, since the last week um, I've been actually uh, messing a little bit with the... What are they called? Uh, Griffin Paint cards. I've been trying to build a nice uh, Inferno deck. And actually this one is kinda breeder focused, breeder slash uh, stacks focused. Yeah, I know it has some non-breeder cards, it has uh, Juggernauts, some Hellfire Cerberus, but actually I think I took every single possible breeder from my deck, um, well, not from my deck, but from my available cards, making up quite a nice deck, especially for um, breeder matrons because it's equal to its attack is equal to the number of uh, friendly battleground positions with at least one breeder so yeah it can it can get quite powerful and so far i've been using it and it really gets powerful it's like when i've dropped it i had a total of 5 attack on the thing and it's like you know when i dropped it and I've then waited a turn, because of course you cannot attack when it's dropped. And on the next turn I was actually able to drop one more breeder somewhere. It adds to a total of 6 attack. And I've managed to clear the lane. Deadly, really deadly. Also I have gone for, uh, well, mainly deadly spells I've got fire bolts fire blast uh, fire bursts three forked fire bolts these are really useful and from the fortunes I've got only campfires so it is really um, creatures focused deck I have one spawning chamber I've been using it once and actually huh. well there's not much I can say about it but yeah, I, I, I've been using it. So far actually I haven't lost with this deck, yet I'm not entirely satisfied with it. Uh, I kinda thought about going with a open format Haven today, but actually I haven't played Haven in quite a long time and Haven is still not uh, upgraded with the Griffin Bane cards. Though, unluckily, I didn't have all the cards I wanted for Haven from the Griffin Bane. You know what? Let's let's try the the test test deck from uh, for Inferno for, for Inferno. And well, actually, this has the um, highest probability of showing some new cards. Not all the decks are upgraded yet with the new cards. Actually, I'm not sure how I was doing on the Academy cards from the Griffin Bane. So actually, I may need a little bit of work on the Crimson Sands deck. Actually, I, I really want to um, create a base set to valid Academy deck. Mm, maybe I'll wait I get someone from Academy destroyed, then I'll get the uh, Academy base set deck. And why is it lagging? It seems as it has found uh, an opponent, but it's not starting the duel. Why are you not starting the duel? Come on, come on. Come on! What's wrong? What's wrong with you? Come on, work! Hello? And... It crashed. Uh, not only it crashed, but I think it reduced my uh, rank progress. Yeah, I think I was at Squire 80% before it crashed. Damn it! 
<sighs> anyway, um, it should it should be fine now. Let's let's try again. If it's gonna crush again, then I'm gonna be angry. Nope, it's working. Garant versus Yukiko. Uh, I go second. Mm. I'm not sure if I want that hand. Let's say I do. Huh. Deal 2 damage to target creature. So I think we're gonna start with um, Fireball. And I'll drop the Maniac on the same exact raw as this shark thing was. Whatever it was. Um, shark guard. Whatever. Huh. Oh, Fiery Sunrise. This one actually I do have in my... Son of a bitch. This one I actually do have in my deck. And it's actually a really useful card when you're going for stacks. To have at least one or two of these. Mm. And increase my might. Oh crap, it, in it needs increased magic. I failed. Human Relation, Magic Channel 1, Adjacent Friendly Breeder Creatures Gain Magic Resist. Uh, yeah, I actually thought it's that different card. I'm not familiar with this deck yet. I thought it's the sort of breeder that um, has fear. Three, I think it is on it. Whereas, um, uh, fear three, as far as I can remember, which means that it cannot be attacked by creatures with attack or of three or less. Open these cards a card at random. <laughs> I could use increased magics. And I don't really know what to do next turn. I could think of dropping the Hellfire Slave and it's immune to retaliation. So it will be brilliant against that thing. Hmm. How wonderful. That's tempting to use the forked fireball right now, except If I'd use these, I won't be able to use anything else. <sighs> so, he has more cards than I. A lashing Lily. Me. I need immune to retaliation sweep attack. Isn't it wonderful? And if I'd put it uh, behind the bed, dude. Or even better. Can increase my might. I'd 
drop the lashing and build him here. I'll move uh, him up there. Discard the card at random. And I'm gonna fireball that thing to death. Well, maybe not the best decision, but fair enough. Hmm, running away, I see. Ah, and she's dropping insane amounts of creatures. Drop um, Swelling Breeder and the Cerberus. Or even better. We'll attack this way. Deal 2 damage to 2 target creatures, so I can get rid of that thing and get rid of that thing. And now I can drop my Cerberus over here. He's also immune to retaliation and also has sweep attack. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Except I'm unprotected over here against this Snow Maiden. And the turn. Oh, son of a... <sighs> I don't really need the breeder matron right now. Smelly? Yes, it is smelly. I'll drop it here. I'll increase my magic. And I'll attack once again. Oh, what is that thing? Um, immobilized? Enemy creatures on the same row as this creature are immobilized. Oh, no. Because it's not... It's not like I drop the thing here to destroy this Snow Maiden. I actually have only one um, type of fortunes in this deck, which is... Um, what are they called? Campfires. I have four of those. And... No more fortunes. Another old maneuver? Ah, you son of a... Oh well. Hmm. Five to drop that thing. Will have one attack, but if I drop this thing, it will have two attack. Hmm. That's quite a way to go, though. This costs 4, this costs 3, this costs 5... Huh. So I could drop these two... And this is really best I can do. Yeah. 
Yeah, let's do it this way. I'll drop this thing, I'll drop this thing. Plus, oh yeah, because it gets a plus one attack for itself. That's nice. That's really nice. And increase my destiny. They have um, spell resist or magic resist. Damage dealt to this creature by magic creatures or spells is half rounded down. Magic shooter. Well, it's not magic shooter, it's a regular shooter. And the turn. Nice. Really, really nice. Well, yeah, actually, I, I kind of forget that the uh, Breeder Matron counts as a breeder itself, so. Oh, Chain Lightning. That was nasty. Really, really nasty. And I'm low on cards. That's not nice. This thing is immune to retaliation, isn't it? Yes, it is. Hmm. Oh, and this thing has honor. Honor. It's a freaking honorable bastard. I don't like it. I don't like it because it's causing problems. I need my spells. I need my spells. When Hatching Breeder dies, deploy a Breeder Melee Shooter token creature with 1, 0, 1 and stackable at the same battleground position. Hmm, it's only one stack. It won't help much. It's a total of 7 required to use all of those cards. Let me draw a card. I could drop that thing, and I can't afford that one. Oh well. But if I'd drop... Well, this is really annoying. I hate people doing that. It's like I had a... Duel yesterday, it took way too long. Literally, way too long. I've spent hours, literally hours, sitting there doing nothing but waiting for something to happen. I'll do it this way. And one more card for me, because I ended my turn having one or less card in hand. Huh. And I won. And I finished the quest, Skirmisher, to deploy um, 30 creatures, I think it was... Actually, I'm not entirely sure whether it was really won or not. I mean, anything could happen in this one. Oh, that's really nice. Tournament start. It's probably to play a tournament. Finish a Swiss tournament. Oh well. So I think we'll be heading to a Swiss tournament soon. Eight players are, ran are randomly matched up for three rounds of timed duels to crown the ultimate winner. Choose your deck carefully as you will be locked into it using it the whole tournament and remember to keep your eyes on the clock. Nice prizes. I don't know if I'd be able to record all the duel, but I mean all the tournament. Yeah, but I think it's like I randomly matched up for three rounds. So I think for the cost of one tournament ticket I'd be getting Um, oh, sorry. I, for one tournament ticket I'd be getting three duels. 14 minutes duel. I don't think I'd be going with this deck. It's like, you see, I'm not entirely happy with this deck. It's 
serving nice, I'm winning with it, but it's it's not perfect. I'm I'm I don't really think that this is the deck to win. And it's like so far I had two people to give up, to surrender and, and run away from the duo. One duo I really won. With this deck, so yeah, this, this was actually a third, I think, third duel with this deck without any changes made to it. White reset it to zero percent. I hope it's bagged because just a second ago I was at 82, and I pressed the tournament and it downed me to zero. I don't like it. Uh, not this one. This one. I wonder, I think it was just some gold that I got. Yeah, 2000 gold. And that's actually enough for another Griffin Bane pack. Well, I probably should stop wasting my gold and start hoarding it for something useful like some event thing. Well, I still hope that there will be more of the Legacy series available for gold. And luckily for now, there aren't. This one really disturbs me, it's like, why am I square 0%? Oh, I'd understand being at night 0%. Well, it's, it's, it's funny, because the more I play, the more I realize that people who, who I'm playing against are of a way higher rank than I am. Yeah, and it really disturbs me. And it's like, again, I've, I've been playing someone a couple of days ago. I don't remember whether it was a whether I won the duel or whether it was a or whether someone gave up. But it's having problems again. Again, I don't like it. And yeah, and actually, oh, premium extravaganza! One super pack out of five contains premium cards only. That's nice. That's tempting. To buy a box. I wonder if that applies to only cards bought right now or to car to packs opened right now. One super pack out of five contains premium cards only. One out of five, meaning that if I'd buy a box all packs of this box have a 20% chance to be full of premium cards, so it's not entirely 1 out of 5. Yeah, it's like 1 can have 10, um, 10 packs containing only premiums, and 1 may have none. Theoretically, it should be 2 out of this 10 cards box. Oh my, oh my. It's not really worth buying them uh, alone in those tiny super packs, but rather in box. Yet I don't really want to waste my um, seals. Not entirely, not entirely waste. Huh. I don't know. Maybe I'll buy one. Well, if I'll be buying, I'll buy a Heart of Nightmares box. But I'll probably won't be opening it right now because it will take way too. Well, actually, if I'd be opening a box of a cards that I already already have a bit of. Well, screw this. I'm opening. I'm buying a Heart of Nightmares box. You just received five wild cards. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Plus an extra five wild cards. Oh, nice. Open, open, open. We'll see how many full premium I get. This one is not full premium. Lotus Empire support. Select, uh, search your library for a sanctuary card and put it into your hand and then shuffle your library. 
Power Veteran. Whenever a warrior creature attacks a non-warrior creature, it does one more attack damage. That's nice. Metcamp Inc. Imp. Fireburst 3. Whenever an enemy creature enters the battleground, if possible, relocate Metcamp Imp to a battleground position on the same row, chosen at random. Chosen at random. Oh, that kinda sucks. Week of Elder Races. I think I have a premium one of these. Or do I? Well, creatures that share, that share a creature with target creature gain plus one. I've been using this one for sure, but I don't know if it was from my deck or not mine. Ultra God's Bastion. It's a building. Uh, while a creature is at blah 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 Bastion, other creatures on the same row cannot be healed and their attack cannot exceed their base value. Interesting. Warbound Cyclops. Whenever another friendly warrior creature attacks, Warbound Cyclops gets plus one attack until end of turn. That's nice. Loyal Hound. I've got this one, but not in the shiny version. Lightning Curse. Enchant creature permanent. Whenever a creature is deployed on a battleground position adjacent to enchant creature, deal four damage to it. Open the next one. Two wild cards. Okay, these I had. This one's new. Shrine of Elraf. Whenever a non-unique heaven creature is Shrine of Elraf dies, put it on top of its owner's library instead. Nice. Chronicler. Earth Grove. Friendly Earth creatures at the front line gain towering and uncord at front line. Okay. Avenging shield well, because um, towering is useless for creatures in the second row. Enchant friendly creature permanent whenever damage is dealt to your hero redirect one of the damage to enchanted creature. That's nice. Uh, sacred Venom Fumes. All vampire creatures gain plus one and plus one. All vampire creatures gain minus one and minus one. Yep. Nice. Arcane Sharpshooter. Immune to retaliation. I think I had some of these. These are useless. Ooh, a shiny putrid dragon. That's nice. Uh, that's, I'd say, quite an expensive card. Spirit Gateway. Shooter creature Spirit Gateway gain phased. Arcane Sharpshooter. Conflicting orders. Until your next turn, an opponent deploys a creature. All enemy creatures gain cannot attack. When an enemy creature attacks, opponent cannot deploy creatures. Uh, Chronicler. Training Ground. Whenever you use your hero ability to increase your might level, if there's a creature at Training Ground, increase that level by one more. Nice. Arcad's Wrath. Though this will be really useful at the beginning. Um, deal 5 damage to all creatures. This damage cannot be prevented or reduced. Oh, interesting. Another Putrid Dragon. And why this one is uh, marked as a new card? I'm sure I had one of these before. Necromancer Apprentice. Immune Retaliation Leadership 1. Falcon Marksman. Shiny. That's nice. And shiny newborn vampire definitely going into my deck. Open the next one. I had all of these. This one's new. Block supply lines until your next turn. Whenever an enemy creature attacks, opponent must pay one resource if they can deal one damage to enemy hero. That's nice. Power War Chief. While your attack level is ten or more, Power War Chief gains plus three attack and quick attack. Gene Cloud Shaper. Gene Cloud Shaper cost X. A resource less to play where X is equal to your magic level. Necromancer Apprentice, Blessing of the Storm, and Crimson Apprentice. I'm pretty sure I had all of these, but non shiny. Open the next one. And actually, this one should be all shiny cards. Another Boneyard, that's nice. Blood Ring, whenever a creature at Blood Ring dies, put one Enrage counter on all friendly creatures with Enrage. Barricade, shiny, but I had the normal barricade. Wolf Trainer, I had Wolf Trainer, but this one's shiny. And Loyal Rakshasa, evade swift while there is friendly wizard creature. On the battleground, Loyal Rakshasa gains sweep attack, while Royal Rakshasa is adjacent to friendly wizard creature, it gains plus two attack. That's nice. Really powerful one. Oh, <laughs> here we are. Only premiums. Crimson Link, Sacrificial Pit, Swelling Breeder, Treasury, Magma Burst, Healing Sister, Hall of Agony. I don't remember this one at the end of opponent's turn. If a demon is at. Oh, okay, I remember this one. Training Ground, Circle of Nine, Block Supply Lines, Arkathrath, Loya Rakshasa, 
So I had all of these in the non-shiny versions, but now I got all the shiny ones. I should have one more shiny in those car in those packs. Destroy all ongoing spells on target friendly creature. Heal two damage from that creature for each spell destroyed this way. That's tr that's nice, really nice cleanse. Coral Seer, immune to retaliation. Opponent play with their hand revealed. Uh, kinda useless. Well, it's a creature, oh, so it's not that bad. Blood Ritualist, that's a good one. Mutual Agony. Honorable Challenge. Until your next turn, friendly creatures cannot be attacked by creatures with a lower might requirement. Interesting. Putrid Dragon's Breath. Put two poison counters on all creatures on target raw. Tea Ceremony. I had this one, but not shiny. And Conflicting Orders. I think I've opened one like this not a long time ago. Two more packs to open and still something shiny should be there. Heroic Destiny, increase your uh, Might, Magic and Destiny levels by one. Interesting. Um, Shark Protector, shiny. But I had not known shiny of these. And shiny Death Lord, that's really nice. I'm really happy to get shiny versions of cards that I actually use. And another shiny pack. So probably the last one is not shiny. Crimson Link, Swelling Breeder, Putrid Dragon's Breath, Steel House of Anima, Warbound Cyclops, Kabuki Dojo. Whenever a creature at Kabuki Dojo dies, shuffle it into its owner's library instead, then draw a card. And Shiny Blood Ritualist, nice. Shiny Nautilus, cannot attack. I think I had this one in non-shiny version. Time Flow, Enchant Creature Permanent, Enchanted Creature is immobilized and gains Fortune Ward. Interesting. I'm not sure whether it should be a spell that helps or uh, hurts, harms, whatever. Earth Grove. Avenge the Fallen. Until your next turn, whenever a friendly creature dies from combat damage, deal one damage to the creature that destroyed it for each human creature you control. Interesting. Angel of Salvation. Creature Magic Fire Light Angel. Friendly human creatures gain. While this creature has two remaining health or more, when this creature dies, set its remaining health to one instead. And the last one... Achievement unlocked. Heavenly Sight 4. Yep, I think I've been given one more for getting all the Haven cards or something like this. Loyal Hound. Style of House Anima. I wonder why are these shining, because I'm pretty sure I had this, these two before. Mm. Coral Oyaku, I think that's how I should pronounce it. Uh, Immune to retaliation, hypnotize. Whenever opponent deploys a creature, they must deploy it on the same row as Coral Ohio if possible. Oyaku, whatever. I think I've been fighting one like this before. Power Wrecker, shiny. And this one's powerful. Conflicting orders and. Oh! I, oh my god, I've got a shiny hero! Mmm. Charity, Imperial Commander. Increase your levels, draw a card, target friendly human creatures attack is equal to its retaliation value until end of turn. So it's good for tanking creatures. And what did I get? Congratulations, you unlocked Heavenly Sight 4, own one of each Heaven card from the Heart of Nightmare series and... Nice, I have Emilio pack. So this one grants... Um, old cards. Lift, lifting Wind, Hellhound Spy Report, look through opponent's library then shuffle it, draw a card, Ice Shell, uh, one is a meh, honor one, I don't like these dudes, especially to uh, face them, it's nice to have them, not to uh, face them, River, Jeff, River of Gems, I have some of these, Dire Wolf, Sunburst, I have way too many Sunbursts, Cyclops Brawler, double attack, this is nasty thing. Naga Warrior, Honor 2. Not bad, not bad. I wonder if it's um, base 2 available or is it only for the Legacy series? Yukiona, Immune to Retaliation, Hypnotize, and Takanao Shore, Champion of Tides. Well, crap, I think I already have Takanao Shore. And if I have Takanao Shore, it's useless. A wonderful. Actually, um, premium new this height duplicate. I want to see the duplicates. Uh, a lot of serious. I have this one shiny, but 
Well, actually, it's the first non-shiny loyal hound I have, so I must have had a shiny royal hound before, unless I've unpacked two shiny royal hounds this time, I'm not sure. I'd have to put these dudes into my uh, deck, definitely shiny. Yeah, another Takana Oshara. This is this is stupid. I I don't want this dude. I have one and it's enough. I could have used something new, like for example this charity. Loads and loads of new cards. Okay, that was quick. <sighs> and we'll probably have a tournament next week. That will be nice. Anyway, anyway, uh, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you next time. Bye.